All right, here we go with our uh, rocker arm and rocking cam assembly. I think I called it the right thing there. But uh, yeah, these are studded. These don't use uh, traditional bolts. So we need to first go ahead and install the uh, proper studs here. And what he's doing here is he's running them just to the point where the thread is all the way down. So the uh, non-threaded side is just sticking up. You can kind of see that here on camera as that thread disappears. Now, is there a proper upside or downside or are they all the same? Not two different threads. All right, so if you couldn't hear him, uh, the finer thread goes up to the top, the thicker thread goes at the bottom. I think you said three eight. is that correct? Three eight eight ten. Oh, three eight eighteen. Okay. It won't go in. Yeah. All right. Next goes in our custom length push rods, and one is different than the other. Uh, one is slightly longer than the other, so you're going to make sure that you get these correct. In our case, the exhaust was longer, is that correct? Uh, yes. No, the intake was the sits at more of an angle. Okay, so the intake sits at more of an angle, so the intake side is slightly longer than the exhaust side. And of course, we featured that earlier when you saw the um, uh, gauge on the rocker arms. So in are the intake side, and now goes the exhaust side. Okay. And while we've been waiting on parts, these have been sitting in assembly lube, uh, just so that they don't corrode on the inside or what have you, uh, for obvious reasons. A little tacky because of that zinc. All right, I'm gonna come over here and lend a hand, lend a hand, because this can be frustrating to get on. There he goes. Right now what we're doing is we're just, they were set initially, and so we're just loosening up the uh, uh, adjusters here, and we're gonna pull them to an outer position so that we can slowly get those back into place and giving us, of course, a little bit of wiggle room to get our push rods into the cups as we start to actually seat the rocker uh, cam. And go to the cam washer. So if you heard what he's saying, he's just gonna work outside, inside, back and forth, kind of keeping everything straight because you don't want that bar to bend. It is a it is a hollow bar for lubrication. Yeah, it's a hollow bar. Right. 
and because we're using solid lifters, it doesn't need to lubricate through the actual push rod, correct? All right. So we're going to go ahead and torque it to, it said 30, not 35, 30. That's right, because the other one's at 30. Oopsie. Sorry. And so all we gotta do from here is adjust these, which is a matter of just uh, snugging them up with the Allen T and of course the uh, proper wrench here. What size is that? That's a uh, half inch uh, 12 point. Okay, half inch 12 point. And the, let's say, uh, 316th Allen. All right, so 316th Allen and a half inch 12 point to make the adjustment here. We'll just snug those up, tighten them down. And uh, of course, we, you already saw we made sure everything was in length, so there's no other measurements that are needed. It's too late for measurements anyway, because everything is being assembled. So uh, we'll these, get that taken care of. These are going to be gapped. Okay. They have to because of heat and stretch. I'm going to run them at 16 on intake, eight, um, yeah, 16 on intake, 18 on exhaust. That's 0 0.018. Okay. Thousands. So we got to gap each one of them. Got to right. gap each one of them. All right, we'll go through the gapping process, but you got to snug it up real quick, right? No. All right, Dan, I'm going to let you take over the segment from here. So talk to us about adjusting the valves and the process for adjusting the valves. Well, the valves, of course, have to be adjusted so that they open and close at the correct times, stay closed for the right amounts, and also you got to take into consideration heat and various things. What I've learned on these in the past, and this is the first motor I've actually built with a full roller, is you have to have a little bit of space uh, initially when you actually set the valves the first time and they'll be adjusted probably every time this vehicle runs because of the way it's designed but what you generally have to do is you've got to set the intake and the exhaust valves you get number one to top dead center with compression the way you do that is you put your finger in the, the spark plug hole and turn the motor till you get compression and what we'll do for each cylinder as we go this one actually fires one eight four three six five seven two once we get number one adjusted we're going to switch over Hold a finger in number eight. When it goes up to full top dead compression, that tells it that this one's in the right place to make the adjustments. Now to make the adjustments, you actually loosen your hold downs, put your wrench in there, and we're gonna run it at 16 thousandths on the intake. Um, this is actually the exhaust. We're gonna run it at 18. And you just slide this in there and move it till it's snug. Once you've got it snug, you hold this in place and you bring it down. All right, so it's 18 for the exhaust, 16 for the intake is the higher heat? Well, you're going to have some expansion. And right now, it's going to have a little bit of play in it. You want that. When this thing heats up, everything in here is going to get hot and it's going to get tighter. What you want is zero lash. Right. Uh, we're setting it at 16 thousandths because once it gets hot, it's going to tighten up. Things are going to expand. Ah. So you'll hear a little bit of when you first cold start this, you're going to hear the valves making a little bit of noise. But it's supposed to. Okay. Once it heats up to full operating temperature, which this motor is 160 to 180, we're actually going to run it at 180. We're going to run a 180 degree thermostat in it, and the, the water pump's going to keep it pretty solid on that, that temperatures when it's running. But once that expansion's gone, you'll lose all the, the ticking noise that you'll hear when you initially oh, start okay. it. Okay, we set that one at 18. We're going to set this one at 16. Now, this will rechange it after we make our first run, after we do the warm up. 20 minute, you don't actually have to do a 20 minute run uh, when you got rollers. That's you do that with hydraulics. But with the roller, there, there's not going to be any variations in it. But what we're going to do is once we make our first heat up, bring it up to full operating temperature and run it for about 20 minutes just for the sake of the motor, then we're going to take the valve covers back off and readjust again. And virtually every time we run the motor, we're going to pull the valve covers back off and readjust again. I got plenty of valve cover gaps. <laughs> All right.
takes this to 16 thousandths. And snug it up. There we go. All right. Now, now we're moving to number eight. Moving to number eight. Can I go ahead. All right. So we'll do the same process here with eighteen thousandths on the exhaust, sixteen thousandths on the intake and adjusting the uh, yeah, retainers. The exhaust is a little bit less, or a little bit wider, because it gets hotter. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing in uh, kind of time-lapse mode and uh, just let you guys watch it from here and fast forward. Don't let anybody fool you, pop's still strong.